Lake Superior has swallowed its fair share of ships over the years, allowing hunters and scuba divers to comb through its graveyard for pieces of history. Joe Linquist started diving into Munison Bay for maritime artifacts alongside his father Pete over 30 years ago. At the time, it was the only way to see the underwater museum. We wanted a method of showing um, just the, the people who couldn't scuba dive uh, the shipwrecks. Uh, we'd find a lot of times on dive charters we'd bring along family members who didn't want to dive or couldn't scuba dive and, th and they would have as much fun looking over. So my dad kind of came up with the idea of a glass bottom boat so we could show everybody what the divers could see and that started back in 1993. Okay now you can see the ribs go in between the keel and the keelson. They run. Now anyone can peer into the world below through two glass viewing wells. If you can dive this site and you do not need a permit. On a clear, calm day like today, you can even come up on top of the deck and look down on the shipwrecks, some of which are 100 and even 200 years old, and find out just how they ran aground. This is called a tow post. Remember, it's a canal schooner. Joe and his crew have an unwavering passion for the water they grew up on, and they do the best they can to help spread the stories of the sea to everyone they encounter. It's not like work, it's coming to work uh, on probably one of the most beautiful settings that you'd ever get, and you meet all kinds of different people. Every day is uh, it's like a new adventure. And this is all part of the Elger Underwater Preserve. You know, the Elger Underwater An adventure that provides a narrative to a generation of wrecks while exploring the coastlines of Grand Island for hidden gems like the East Channel Lighthouse. But all this wouldn't be possible without the support of the surrounding community, something Joe and his family will never take for granted. I'll tell you what, the community of Munising is, uh, is really something special. We have a nice um, bond with our, our fellow businesses here in town, and it's really great to see a community of effort to push tourism in general. And so I think when you talk to the locals and local business owners, um, we're all rooting for each other and understand that we're all, we all have a mutual benefit. So when there's something good, uh, they really want to push it. And I think we're something really good. I'm not sure what we see, folks, but we sure had a good time. Reporting for ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Rick Tarsitano.